What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Chig coming at you with another World of Warcraft farming guide. Right now, we're listening to, uh, to old Ragnaros yell because we are in the Firelands farming some savage leather. So, this one we do in a couple of pools because otherwise things despawn before we can skin them. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get all the scorpion boys. And we're going to get the core hound. And then we'll go ahead and womp these dudes. All right. Uh, so I made the mistake that I made when I went to um, Karazhan and I forgot to train. And yeah, let's kill some doggies too. I mean, I don't think they're skinnable, but hey. Um, yeah, so we're ignoring all the dings because most of that's going to be stuff that we're going to be uh, just vendoring. We're here for bloated stomachs and we're here for leather, right? So this is what we're doing. Um, we'll open up the bloated stomachs and you'll get to see the kind of what's in those two. But we're just doing these couple of pulls and then we're resetting and then we're doing these couple of pulls again. This is a great farm. This is another one of those Netflix and chill things. This is one of those like, all right, let's grab everything, let's kill everything and let's do it, right? And everything for this farm really close together like you could go get those turtles out of the lava but like whether or not it's actually worth it to get the the turtles out of the lava is like eh. um but we just want to get all of these things and we want to skin them and we want to take it their hide and we want to put it in our pockets and we want to do the things proper as you can see, this is a super easy, super chill farm. There's nothing difficult about it. I cast two spells and I right clicked a bunch. Right? Like this is this is where we're at in our farming life. And hey, there's a bloated stomach, yeah. I could do this for however long and show you what we get out of all the stuff, but like I'm just gonna do it a couple of times and show you kind of the rundown right because it's not bad it's really not right like this is an excellent farm and uh something to keep into consideration as well when you're doing this farm is that savage leather is selling for you know four gold a piece on my server um looks like it's about seven on most servers and there's eleven thousand of them getting sold every day so that should tell you right off the bat that this farm is worth farming, right? Because a lot of people use this stuff for transmogs. Like, it is it is excellent. All right, so we reset it. Let's run in here, and let's see. We're at 3 minutes and 21 seconds when we run through the door. Let's see how long this run takes. 321 when we zoned in. Obviously, we're trying to skip the big guy. We're trying to skip that first pack of mobs, which, you know, isn't hard to do because face pulling or whatever like we're over leveled it's not gonna matter um this is a pretty fun raid to do for uh raw gold too like it's not bad at all for raw gold because there's a lot of drops there's a lot of mobs in here to kill there's just a lot going on in this dungeon right so it's not a bad one for just doing some raw gold farming and i don't know how i got raw gold off of uh scorpions and oh no my dark moon fire water fell off always keep dark moon fire water always keep it those dogs just ran right by me like oh we don't care about this guy yeah so this is probably the best place for like, okay, I'm going to buckle down and I'm going to knock out as much leather as I can in the shortest amount of time because, I mean, you're going to get locked out. Uh, we came in at 3 minutes and 31 seconds. We're a minute in. We're halfway done, right? So we'll see how long it takes from the time we run in until the time we're running out, and that'll kind of give you an idea of the overall time it's going to take you. And I'm, I'm, I'm honestly real confused why I'm looting currency off of these guys, but I'm not going to complain about it. So, it, it's literally fine. 
Um, also, if you're not using fire water, um, be very careful with your pools because you may actually, you know, things may despawn before you get to skin them because things only live for so long, right? Um, and they only exist for so long after you skin them. Uh, so we'll do this, I guess, one more time just for shiggles. Actually, no, this is going to be good because this is going to be a, this is going to be a good, you'll get about 10 times this much because it's going to be about six minutes when we run out the door, right? So, um, we'll get a good, this is how much we're doing. This is how many we're doing. This is yada, yada, yada. So this is going to be about six minutes. So this is a 10th of what we're getting. So this is going to work out nice. So about a thousand. So I got those before. Um, and then let's see. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so looks like we're going to get about a 1,000, 1,100 leather. Let's call it 1,100 leather. And probably about 50 bloated stomachs. So in the bloated stomachs, you're going to get volatiles, which sell for money. Well, volatile fire, volatile... Okay, I'm just getting lucky on volatile fires, all right? Volatile earth. And volatile earth. Okay, you can get ore, you can get volatiles, you can get everything from that. Okay? So, what did we learn from this? We learned from this that this is an excellent place to farm. Um, these sell really quickly. A lot of them sell every day. And this is going to be a really steady stream of income for you. It's really easy to knock out. You can get about 1,100 leather an hour. So, let's look at that. 1,100. So... You're going to multiply that by 10. So just the leather is going to be 5,000 gold for a lockout. And then this is going to be another 1,000. And then that's going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of things going on. So this is going to be a great place to get this leather. Like I said, a, over 1,000 leather an hour in a spot is excellent. There's very few places that are like that. But this just happens to be one of them. Anyway. Uh, that's it for this video. I'm going to try to start keeping them short because I'm trying to get a lot of these out. I'm trying to tell people how to farm everything. After I get all of the main leathers taken care of, I'm going to go back and try to do the rarer ones that are harder to find because, you know, I don't find a lot of things on those. But anyway, that's it for this one. Catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon. All of that super helps out the channel. Until the next time. Happy gold making.